what do you need to know in the strategic business leader or the SBA exam? Firstly, from a strategic point of view, you need to know how to set up strategy for the business. You need to know about the corporate stuff. So, for example, the corporate governance, the relationship with different stakeholders, how you should be accountable to different stakeholders, for example, through internal controls, and also using a framework called performance excellence. At the same time, you need to make sure that you've got the right staff in your business, which means looking at the talent management. Now, the business part, from my perspective, there are three key areas. Again, firstly, within the business, you need to design appropriate organisational structures. Secondly, you need to be able to manage the change, process change, and also project management within the business. And thirdly, very importantly from the SBA exam's point of view, you need to know about the technology and IT controls. Now, what do I mean by leader? Which means on the left hand side. So firstly, you will need to know about the leadership and culture within a business. At the same time, from a leader's point of view, you need to demonstrate, for example, from the accountant's point of view, because we are uh, the professional accountant in this paper, the professionalism ethical codes and the public interest, how we act in the public interest. And of course, I summarise all these three aspects, strategic business leader, broken them down into 13 chapters that you should know from my perspective for the current SBA exam. So for those of you who may not have enough time because you are quite busy with your work schedule so during your last minute revision it's very important that you firstly recognize the fact that there will be more than 300 knowledge points in the SBO syllabus but not all of them will be tested or I would say that some of them will be touched however they will not be tested uh, in the same way that the test book presents because the SBA exam nowadays is more of the application exam so make sure that you always apply these knowledge to the practical case scenario and this is why I've written a special note for you it is called the essential note and the total number of pages of this note is approximately 40 pages summarizing all these bits and pieces that you need to know for sure okay uh, for example let's say the internal control i use the mnemonic called cc ream okay just to summarize it all together and then i will later on apply them to the case and the latest pre scene and also the uh, tip questions uh, from our global apc uh, and so on, so for example, talk about talent management, the benefits and drawbacks and so on. So uh, make sure you're ready. And also talking about, uh, let's say, the uh, leadership uh, and culture. Yes, I, I've, I've used very, very beautiful diagrams to summarize all the bits and pieces that you need to know. Okay, now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be stopping the recording now for the uh, summary of the SBA syllabus in our first section here. And I look forward to seeing you in the subsequent recordings. And these recordings are quite brief. Uh, it's making sure that you know what you need to know okay, from the SBA exam's point of view so that you can pass this paper easily. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. APC accounting for your future